What's going on guys, it's Suk and I am back with a brand new video on Super Duper Tech. And in today's video, I will be unboxing the Time2 Wi-Fi Lighting Starter Kit. Now I have already unboxed the Philips Hue Wi-Fi Lighting Starter Kit. If you do wanna go check that out, then you can click the card in the top right hand corner. So without any further ado, let's hit the tiles. Now I do want to start off by mentioning that I did purchase this particular model on Amazon for around £50. Now these bulbs do have a runtime of around 10,000 hours but you can put that down to around 7 years if you was to use these bulbs for around 4 hours per day. And as you can see if your device is running on iOS it must be above iOS 7 or if you are running on Android it must be above Android version 2.3. So now on to opening up the box. Now the first thing that you do get when you open up the box is an ethernet cable. Now this is a very short cable which has an approximate length of around 30 centimeters. Further inspection of the box does reveal a Wi-Fi bridge. Now this Wi-Fi bridge will be used to bridge between the bulbs themselves and your network. There are a number of LED light indicators on the top of the Wi-Fi bridge itself. And going from left to right you do have the remote light a local area network light, a Wi-Fi light, as well as a power indicator light. On the bottom of the Wi-Fi bridge, there is a QR code as well as a MAC address. Now, both of these can be used to connect the application to the Wi-Fi bridge. And on the rear of the device, there is two ports, the first being a power, the second an ethernet port. There also happens to be a reset switch, just in case you have to reset the device. The next things that you do get in the box is of course the bulbs themselves. Now these bulbs do seem to be primarily made out of plastic, but that does not mean that their build quality is by any means bad. Time2 do offer this startup kit in both the E27 and B22 socket types. So if you are curious as to what socket these bulbs will fit into, they should have you covered. And the next thing that you do get in the box is of course the documentation. Now this is a very simple user manual, which does briefly explain how to set up the Wi-Fi bridge and get it connected to your router, as well as the setup process between the application and the Wi-Fi bridge. And the final thing that we do get included in the box is of course the power cable. Now the end of this power cable is a USB type A. So if you do have a iPhone or any other smartphone charger plug, if you do connect it up to that then it will allow for the power to be transferred to the wi-fi bridge now before i get to today's outro i do want to quickly mention that i could not get the application to pair up with the wi-fi bridge and i will be purchasing it once more just to check if it works now if it doesn't work then that will be it i will not be featuring a review on this channel of this product so guys that has been it for today's video i do hope you did enjoy it if you did enjoy it then leave it with a thumbs up rating if you are new around here then why not subscribe to stay up to date and get notified when i upload my next video you can go ahead and click the annotation on screen or the card in the top right hand corner to go and check out my unboxing of the philips hue wi-fi lighting starter kit if you have got any questions or queries that you would like to ask me as to anything that you have seen in today's video then go ahead and hit me up over on twitter add me up on periscope and snapchat for live behind the scenes footage thank you guys very much for watching i will see you guys in the next video have a good one